I always knew that, that it was wrong, but uh, uh, after the, f the first, the first uh, killing was not planned. I was uh, coming back from the shopping mall back in 78. I had had uh, fantasies about picking up a, a hitchhiker and uh, taking him back to the house and uh, having complete control and dominance over him. Dahmer's violent fantasies become reality when he crosses paths with 18-year-old Stephen Hicks looking for a ride to a nearby rock concert. He picked up uh, a young man that was hitchhiking and offered him a good time if he wanted to just stop uh, and visit with him for a little bit. Jeffrey Dahmer was attracted specifically to this individual because he wasn't wearing a shirt. Throughout the evening, they drank alcohol, and I understand there might have been marijuana involved. Finally, Stephen Hicks said that I should be going. He said we drank, he wanted to leave, and I hit him with a barbell, and I killed him. He says I didn't want him to leave me. For sexual pleasure, he took the life of a human being. All of Dahmer's victims were men. His attraction to men is what both motivated and repulsed him. Never understood it. There was no use trying to fight it because I, I couldn't rid myself of it. It was, it was too powerful and persistent. Do you dislike it? Yes, it's caused a lot of problems for me. A lot of conflicts and uh, unanswered questions. Jerry Boyle was Dahmer's lawyer. He believes that Jeffrey's sexuality did not lead him to violence. He, he was just really very forthright with me. It is my firm belief that if he was a heterosexual, you would have killed girls. After Dahmer dismembers Stephen Hicks's corpse and stuffs the remains in a deep drainage pipe in his parents' backyard, he panics and decides to dig up the body parts and dispose of them elsewhere. He decided late at night towards midnight to drive it to a local dump. He was so nervous that he was driving erratically, he was stopped by a police officer. Mr. Dahmer kept his wits about him. He told the police officer that his parents had recently divorced. He said he couldn't sleep and wanted to take a garbage bag to the garbage dump. The police officer shined a flashlight in, saw a green garbage bag. The officer had no reason to whatsoever to believe that there was anything unusual other than he might have been a little bit nervous, but most people are nervous when there's a traffic stop made. Jeff was very good by that point at convincing adults um, for whatever it was he wanted to convince them of. Jeffrey Dahmer definitely was a manipulator. He was able to convince not only the individuals to come to his place, uh, but he was also a, able to convince people that nothing was wrong when there was something very wrong. It all could have ended at that moment, but in the first of many close calls when he could have been stopped, Dahmer's let off with only a ticket. He took them home, smashed them all up, and spread the bones in the woods. Stephen Hicks's parents report him missing in 1978, but don't get any answers until 1991 when Dahmer confesses. That family had no idea what had happened to their 18-year-old son. He disappeared off the face of the earth. Talk about inflicting pain if you're a parent. 